Hello, Louisiana Beer Reviews. Do a review of Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor introduced. Malt liquor. Introduced in 1962. Uh, was bought this by different companies, but it's been under Molson Coors since 2000, 1999. And this, this is, this is a perfect size vessel to make a Molotov cocktail out of. Cans. Let's call it the grenade. See, to so me, it always comes in a wide mouth. Five point. This is five point five, right? Six. Ooh, five point six. Now, to me, it always looked like a, a beer barrel. You know, like an old wooden barrel. And I first bought this in '96, and I've got cans and Man, bottles. Man, you could hurl these things. All right, so it's got it's got a it's got a little uh, hornet hornet on it. Like boxing gloves. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna sting you. And a guy at work, I was at work yesterday, and the guy, Wednesday, he told me. It kind of, to me, it kind of looks like an emblem from when I was in the United States Navy. They'd have different emblems on, in, in, the, uh, in the Airedales. Uh, like, I was in a squadron, and it was called the, the Rampagers, it was VA-83. And uh, we, we had this ram head on the side of our airplanes. And I've seen this logo on some of, like, the F-14s. These, and, these uh, are some older bottles with a different, with the painted cap. Uh huh. Painted cap. With gold. That's a yellow hornet. And then this is a later one. Mm hmm. A little bit still, They still kind of look the same. A little bit smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, a guy at work was like, man, when I get off of work, I'm buying a, two Mickey six packs. Mickey's Big Mouth, he called them Big Mouths, and some Bud Light. And I ain't leaving the house tomorrow because, you know, it's been so hot. And then yesterday at work, he was like, well, maybe I'm, he's maybe he's a fan of the Olympics and wants to watch the Olympics. He just didn't want to go in the heat. And then yesterday he says, uh, I'm buying some more Mickey's Big Mouths. I said, okay. It didn't really get hot yesterday. We got low humidity right now, so 95 is relative. And this morning it was like, seven, yeah, relative. And then this morning it was like 72 and it was really low humidity. It maybe it was 72 out here. It was 79 in my house. It was 74 when I went walking the second I time. Well, I went cycling. It felt so nice. I got 8.3 miles in. Okay, so introduced in 1962 in Evansville, Indiana, and now under the Molson Coors Company. Thank Milwaukee, you, Wisconsin. Evansville, Indiana, for producing those Mickeys for us. And they used to make an ice boot AO, but that's gone. Now they just make the lager. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Look at the color of that. It's like it's like a dark yellow. Yeah, gold. Like you had your coffee and not enough water in the morning. You know, you're going to go on. Oh, man, I need to hydrate. It's golden. It's uh, got a white head. It's clear. It's a bell. It's clear. It's perfect. Okay. It's darn near perfect. Look at that. And, um, yeah, a little bitterness. Uh, yeah. If you get on their website, they show all the different bottle designs. They got big 40 ounce bottles, and they got the little, little You can get barrels. the 40s. Yeah. They got the 40s out where I live. There's 40 ounces here in, in where I live, and they're big glass bottles. They went back to glass. They mm -hmm. abandoned the plastic. Oh, wait. Yeah, they had gone to, wait, they never did go to plastic. That was still reserved in uh, Old English. Old that English. Was, yeah, and you got two more ounces. You got 42. Yeah, that's right. Mickey's never did go to plastic. All right. Nope. Cheers. It smells like roasted bread. Almost like toast. Smell that. Smell like toast in the morning. A little bit. Yeah, you aren't kind of right about that. This is a little toast. Toasted malt. Toasted bread. Mmm. Love smell. Get that maltiness to it. There is that, like... You're breathing in cold, like you're in, like you're in a meat cooler or something. You go in there and breathe, and you get that that coldness going up your nostrils. But yeah, that's a good description. Of it. It's, it it smells like like toast, like wheat, like white toast. Yeah, but it's from the toaster, but it's cold. All right, taste time. There's a little burnt taste going on with it. Still has that toasted, Slight. toasted bread. But now it has butter on it. No, I'm not getting butter. Butter. Not to be confused with margarine. Butter. 
medium you know medium body crisp finish Mickey's fine malt liquor well, I love this beer because it has such a clean taste and it's so easy going it's drinkable I can see why my friend after eight hours of work was like I'm getting that six pack when I leave and I said well how many did you drink he said I drank the whole six pack he said I was sleeping good I said I would have had to go to the bathroom like so many times after that that's that's another condition. Well, after a six pack of beer, what do you expect? Um, yeah, it's just um, it is a regular American beer, but there's a little extra something to it, a little extra character. And I don't think it's the hops, but they that could be confusing me. It's just got that little bread crust, toast, not bread crust, toasted crust. I think you're noticing that too. With butter. No, I don't pick that up. Well, what would you call it then? Just put a piece of white bread in the toaster and take it out and eat it, but I don't With nothing it. on it. Yeah, it doesn't taste like butter. Man, you're crazy. Nobody does that. Nobody takes a piece of white toast out of the toast and just eat it so like that. <laughs> I'm saying what it tastes like. It tastes like you took it out of the toaster and you didn't put butter on it. Although, obviously, I would put butter on toast. Or like this morning, I had the bagel, two fayon, a blueberry bagel, and I put peanut butter on it. What kind of, what kind of bagel was it? Two, two, two fayon. Oh, I never heard of two fayon. Yes, yeah, a family-owned a, a bagel company, and it was the blueberry, and I put some peanut butter on it. Oh, that was a good breakfast. Um, that was breakfast. Mm. Oh. I, I love Mickey's, and I always did like it. Um, hmm. It's kind of like a B plus, like 89, I think is a fair score. What do you dislike about it that brought the score down to 89? I don't dislike anything about it. It's just the quality level is sort of like, you know, no, it gets to a B plus and it, it can't really get into that 90 area that you would get with more developed beers. But I, certainly Mickey's, if you said... This is less developed? Is it clear? It's just, just developed. Well, I'm trying to avoid saying things like it's, you know, it's kind of cheaper, you know. But uh, six ninety nine for a four, oh, six pack. Uh, but I, I think still more than a dollar I can. I think um, if someone asked me, like, if, say somebody came here from Australia or China, and they said, "Well, I would like to try an American beer that's really good, but it's like a like a mainline American beer that's really good," I would steer them toward Mickey's. I think. Yeah, that would be that would probably be one of the main ones I would reach for to show them. I'd say so try you, would, you would steer them toward this beer? Okay. Well, with that said, Definitely. with that said, Why give it this beer, it's an A. This gets It gets an A in my book. I'm going to give it a 92. I think it's very good. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, it's it's a malt liquor. It, malt, all malt liquors have that kind of rich, kind of off flavor a little bit. You're always going to taste some kind of a Firmness or you know, some kind of refrigerator uh, taste to them a little bit, uh, but this one's very clean. Uh, 5.6% alcohol. It's kind of disguised a little bit. I like the fact that it comes with this twist off. But way back in the day, also they also used to have the pop tops. It was like a pull tab. Yeah, it was a pull tab, and they would open up and like that, and then the whole thing would come off. So you couldn't reseal it. These can get resealed. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of resealing is. I mean, I guess if you want to make yourself a liquor drink or something, stick it in there and then put this back on. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The, the funny thing is they also come with this little riddle on the bottom. I can't really see what it I is. It started back in the Paps days and Miller just continued it because they don't usually do stuff like that. I wouldn't go lower. Well, it's still indignant with, with, with the... Uh, I wouldn't go lower the than the 89, no. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like four different cartoon pictures you're supposed to figure out. And one of them, if y'all can see, uh, one of them is the Mickey's container. So I'm not for sure what that is. Yeah, let's we'll see. It means... Um... You said you don't like riddles, so you're not going to Yeah, I, 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 don't know what, I, I don't know what this means. Just tell me. Don't make me guess. All right. I'll, 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 give, it, I'll give it 15 seconds. If I can't figure it out, I'll study it and... Uh... Well, first of all, I would have to take this off. Nah, I, I can't see it, so. All right, Next so, time, kids. So we're at about a 90 and a half, 91. So regardless, we think it's really good and enjoyable, so you should buy it. And so, lazy la bon temps, la. we're going to end this review by saying y'all go to Wisconsin and take a brewery tour. And y'all need to bring back Mickey's Fine Malt Liquor, but y'all need to bring back the... Um, what I'm talking about is the Ice Brewed Ale 5.8. Just remember this, Mickey's. This request is coming from somebody who just gave this beer a B. B plus. Bring it back to Louisiana. Or bring bring it to Louisiana because they never did sell sell the ale in Louisiana. All right. Thank you.